we're going to talk about keeping clean with the Ozark Trail Solar Shower. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to take a look at this Ozark Trail Solar Shower. These sell online for anywhere from $10 to $14. You can buy them at Walmart. This is actually a prep I have never tested, and that's a bad thing when it comes to keeping clean if you've never tested something. Um, keeping clean in a disaster is probably a very high priority. It's not as uh, exciting as guns, ammo, food, water, all that other stuff, but it's a very high priority. You need every edge you can get during a disaster, and getting sick definitely takes your edge off. Okay. Um, if you listen to the CDC, one of the most important things you can do is washing your hands, especially in a disaster. Everything you touch, whether it's a person, animal, structure, whatever, will likely be compromised with some kind of bacteria. So you want to keep yourself clean. I'm going to give you a quick look at this, and then we're going to go into uh, actually using it outside, letting it heat up for a couple hours, and coming back. The bag itself is made of a thick black polyurethane. It's actually very heavy-duty construction. Because I bought this a few years ago, put it away, and never tested it, I found out this tube had gone bad. Um, it actually got very stiff, wouldn't unravel, and then when I unraveled it, it cracked right about here. So I went to Home Depot, got some new tubing, and said it's time to test my gear out. <laughs> That's one of the reasons why I like doing YouTube channels is because I get to test all my gear. So basically the instructions work like this. You fill it up, you let it sit outside, they say, for three hours to get the hottest temperature you can get. And there is a little guide here with the different water temperature um, temperatures you're going to get as for as long as you leave it out. There's one hour will take you to about 80, two hours will take you to about 90, three hours will take you to about 100, 105. Um, I do have a thermometer today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this up, which is done by popping this cap up here and filling it up with water. I'm going to let it sit out on the concrete. Now here in Nevada we're a unique situation. In the middle of November, if the sun's shining, it may be 65 degrees out. It may be 14 degrees out. If the sun is shining, you're going to get stuff warm. However, this can be used if you boil water and put it in there, as long as it's not too hot. If you warm some water and put it in there, it's still another option. It does need to be hung up high. Uh, thankfully, our shower head and our shower is high enough where this would work, because it is a gravity system. And it's got nice little pockets on the bottom here. You can stick your soap and various washcloths and whatever in the bottom. So we're going to fill this up, we're going to take it outside, we're going to fill it up first. I mean, we're going to take it outside first, then we're going to fill it up. And we're going to let it sit out there and see how it goes. Alright, we're outside here. Um, I've got the bag set up. I'm going to run that water a little bit, because inside that hose there, that water is probably scorching hot by now. So we want to go from, we want to start with cold water. Run this over here for a bit. Yeah, it is pretty warm. Let me see if I can get it. Yeah, it's about, it's about 102 degrees. That's just from sitting out here, and that's been out here all night. Okay, now we got nice cold water. All right, we're gonna fill this up. Try to keep it as clean as possible. There we go. We're filling it up. Shouldn't take too long. And again, you can fill this any way uh, you see fit when it comes to uh, doing it with your stored water or whatever. I think I have the, uh, yeah, I have that open. I gotta close that. Get it over there. There we go. I'm probably not gonna do it all the way up to five gallons, but we'll do it uh, a decent amount here. All right, that's about it. That's good. Get that cap on there. The cap is very hard to open and close. That's a good thing because you don't want it leaking. But you got to remember that. Turn off the water. Take a look here. See what we got. All right. Um, I'm going to put it over on the concrete over there when we're done with this video. We're going to let it sit for a couple hours and uh, see how it heats up. Okay, we got it out here on the concrete. That's where I'm going to leave it. I'm going to try and do it for the whole three hours and see how it, uh, how it reacts. And see what kind of temperature I can get out here. It's probably about in the 90s right now and it'll be up over the hundreds today but I figured today was a good day because it's probably gonna be the last day we're in the hundreds for a little while so anyway I'll get back with you when it's nice and warm all right so we got it done it's been about three hours I'm gonna check the temperature on it open 
it back up. I'm up to, can't see it in the camera, I'll show it to you in a minute. I'm up to 100 degrees, a little over 100. I'm gonna let it run out. But you can see that in the camera. I don't know if you can see it because it's kind of sunny out here. Let me tip up the thing here. But yeah, you got up to 100 degrees in about three hours. So that's not bad. Yeah, it's right at 100. Try it again, make sure. You can probably see it the first time, but regardless. So there it is. My only concern with this is how um, the uh, bag is hanging. I know this is really, really tough stuff. That looks kind of rough on it. So maybe I'd find a different way to hang it, but uh, this was the most convenient place to hang it for now. So anyway, that's the uh, Ozark Trail Solar Shower. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll get back with you soon.